From the mysteries of space to the wonders of evolution, from man-made endeavors to the effortless power of nature, science and technology are all around us, forging a path towards progress and knowledge. Let us explore the questions from the past and the answers from the future. The more we know, the more powerful we become. This is Explorations. Explorations. We will be looking at some of the most expensive things in the world. When money is no object, how far can the barriers be pushed in the pursuit of excellence? We will take the most expensive round the world trip. This is very important to me to do something that has never been done before and something that's difficult. Go supersonic in Thrust SSC. The aim was to set the ultimate land speed record, the one that nobody can ever repeat take you on the world's most expensive fishing trip. It's quite an exciting thing to be down at 3,000 feet. You're probably one of a handful of people that have ever seen this animal where it lives. And visit the most expensive office in the galaxy. Once we get up there and learn how to live and work with space, we'll begin to realize the real benefit of the people of planet Earth. What is the most expensive round-the-world plane ticket? Well, in March 2005, Steve Fawcett announced his intention to become the first man to circumnavigate the globe non-stop. I hope to make it with no stops in under 80 hours. The project is being sponsored by another record-breaking billionaire, Richard Branson. Steve has not said exactly how much it was, but a global flyer was a few million dollars. This is very important to me, to do something that has never been done before, and something that's difficult, uh, not only from the endurance standpoint, but also from uh, the technology that was required to build an airplane uh, to do this specific task. Global Flyer was designed by the world's leading experimental aircraft designer, Bert Rutan, whose successes also include the first privately funded spacecraft. If you know Bert Rutan, who is a genius designer, you have to have a lot of confidence. When Bert starts building something, it's going to fly. And it's going to fly successfully, it's going to fly safely. When you're flying on a single tank of gas, you have to make every drop count. And Global Flyer is the most efficient plane ever built. Global Flyer is constructed out of graphite epoxy, a composite material which is very light but very strong and is powered by a single extremely efficient jet engine. Bert Rutan, as the designer of this aircraft, and John Carco, who worked very closely on the design and saw it through, have produced a genius bit of work. They produced all the elements of aviation in one aircraft. They produced a combination of a high-altitude jet and a glider, and they've kept it very simple. The airplane's in good shape. We've had a few things that we've been working on for the past several weeks, so I look forward to having an airplane that is in uh, top quality uh, flying condition. Fawcett will have to spend up to 80 hours in a cockpit just over two meters long, consuming only diet milkshakes and grabbing a few moments sleep at a time. It may be the most expensive round-the-world ticket, but it is also the least luxurious. After waiting for the absolute perfect conditions, Fawcett takes off from Salina Airfield in Kansas to start his epic journey. As Global Flyer takes off, fuel accounts for an incredible 85% of its weight. Although Fawcett is alone in his cockpit, a team on the ground monitor every moment of his flight to ensure that the plane is always working at maximum efficiency. Flying at a speed of 274 knots, or 500 kilometers per hour, Global Flyer keeps an altitude of around 14,000 meters, 500 meters above the height at which commercial jets cruise. Fawcett continuously alters his course to take advantage of high-speed winds to maximize Global Flyer's efficiency. I do see commercial aircraft by 2020 as being all composite. So you'll get on a plane that's no longer made of aluminum and that will be a great step forward. Thousands of support flew up there at Salina Airfield, Kansas, to welcome Fawcett home, including the main money man, Richard Branson. It was 85% fuel when it took off, and basically he had to turn it from being a high-altitude 
jet aircraft at one point in the flight to a glider when it came back down to Earth. 67 hours and one minute after takeoff, Fawcett arrives back at Salina Airfield in Kansas, having traveled approximately 37,000 kilometers and with another world record to his name. <laughs> He's actually got more records now than any other human being who's ever been in the Guinness Book of Records. So he has the record for the most entries in the Guinness Book of Records.